inner cities, and, and if you believe the demographics, and the demographics for this country based on the census suggest that by 2050, uh, Hispanics as an individual group will be the largest population, and minorities today as a collective will be the majority. And there's nothing to suggest that's different. If you go into those, those neighborhoods and those urban cities where those individuals reside, if there's a lo loss of hope, that's the biggest barrier. If there's no sense that it's possible, that's the biggest barrier. I don't think there's a barrier today around what you can do if you set your mind to it and you believe it. So why is it important from a business perspective? From a business perspective, although we do not have any manufacturing here, we did declare several years ago that Michigan is our home. Troy, Michigan is where our headquarters are at. Uh, and as I look at it, if we do not have a vibrant urban community, we won't attract the best and brightest next generation. And part of what I look at from a business perspective, in addition to from diversity with the Women's Business Resource Group, African American Business Resource Group, and other business resource groups to make sure that we have an inclusive environment, the other thing is I think it's absolutely critical that we can compete with the likes of Chicago, <coughs> San Francisco, all due respect, New York, and others, to make sure that we can attract the best and the brightest here. Because if not, those of us that have operations here, and I won't ignore the fact, with an aging workforce, uh, will suffer in the future. So both personally I see it and I get excited about the things going on downtown, and also professionally I see it part of our long-term survivability. Well, I was speaking with uh, former Governor Engler yesterday, and you know he has one of the most important roles probably in the country uh, in, in, in working with manufacturing groups around the world. And he, you know his advice to me yesterday was to make sure we're not only competitive with the surrounding states, with personal property tax reform and some of the other things that we're doing, but you've got to look, you know, step back, look at the cost of energy, the employment uh, base that we have and uh, be globally competitive. So if you want to talk about what barriers are to people coming to the United States and being able to live the American dream, usually those barriers are our are, are, are own. And uh, unless we provide opportunities with jobs and good, high-paying, high-tech kind of jobs, we're, we're, we're you know, keeping people away.